Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. This video is all about wealth through iron, oil and stone. So thank you so much for watching this video and this video I would like to talk about the wealth through different industries like iron, oil and stone. A lot of people will be doing different uh, types of businesses in terms of, of, of which they are expertized into. Okay, Somebody will select iron business, gold business, oil business, stone business, mineral business, painting business, anything for that matter. Let's talk about a little bit of basics about wealth astrology. So basically Jupiter, Saturn and Venus are the Caracas of wealth. If at all you have strong Jupiter, Venus and Saturn, then you'll be making a lot of money irrespective of arena that you are into, irrespective of business area that you are into. Okay. So this video is all about wealth through iron, oil and steel. So let me talk about Caracas of iron, oil and steel and stone. Okay. So for iron, Basically, the Karaka is the Karaka for iron metal is basically Saturn. Saturn represents iron material. Saturn signifies iron material. And for oil, the Karaka is basically moon. Because moon is the Karaka for all the liquid based business. It can be cool rings, hot rings, or it can be bars, or even the restaurants for that matter. And also the milk business, oil business, for all this fluid related business, moon is the Karaka. And stone is the Karaka of Rahu. Stone is the Karaka of Rahu. So depending upon the planetary alignment that you are in the birth chart, depending upon the strength of those planets, such type of business will be suitable for you. Let me give you certain combinations. So if at all Jupiter, Rahu, Jupiter, Saturn or Venus is placed in the 2nd house, 5th house, 7th house, 9th or 10th or 11th houses, it is very beneficial for you to make money from wealth. If at all you have Saturn plus Jupiter conjunction or if at all you have Saturn plus Venus conjunction and these conjunctions are free from malefics like Rahu and Ketu, you will be making a solid business in terms of iron and oil industries. And if at all you have Saturn plus Moon conjunction in the 9th house, 10th house or in the 11th house, you will be suitable for putting the business into restaurants, fluids, milk based business, dairy products and uh, anything related to fluid can be suitable for you. Okay, because the moon is the Karaka and Saturn is the Karaka for career. So Saturn plus moon conjunction brings a lot of money through moon, a uh, lot of money through oil business. Okay, so and also let me give you certain combinations. The combinations are basically if Saturn in the fifth house and fifth lord happen to be sun or moon and are placed in the eleventh house. Okay, if sun and moon are in their own houses in 11th house. If sun and moon are there in their own houses and happen to be 11th house, then it is a strong indication that it will be making wealth through iron, oil and stone. And if at all Lagna Lord is exchanging its placements with 4th Lord, 4th house Lord. If 4th house Lord, let me, anybody can be Mars, Moon, Mercury or Sun. And if at all they are exchanging their zodiac signs with the Lagna Lord. That means the Lagna Lord happened to be in the 4th house and 4th house Lord happened to be in Lagna then that is an indication that we'll be making very good wealth through iron, oil and stone. And let's say if at all Lagnadipati and Dhanadipati, that is Lagnadipati will be first house and Dhanadipati will be 11th house. If at all there is an exchange of planets between the first house and the 11th house, that is also indication of your wealth yoga that you'll be making very good money through iron, oil and stone. And according to Hora Sara, Saturn and Moon com com combination in the Upachaya houses. That means it's in the 6th, 8th and 12th houses. That also will be very good uh, money that you can able to make very good business through oil business because oil represents Moon. And 5th house and ninth house are exchanging its planets to each other. It can be any planets. It can be Sun, Ma Mars, Moon, Mercury, Rahu, Ketu, Jupiter and Venus anybody Saturn anybody for that matter if at all there is a exchange between the fifth lot and the ninth lot fifth house lot happened to be in the ninth house ninth house lot happened to be in the fifth house that is also a strong indication that you'll be making very good money through oil oil stone and iron business all right so thank you so much for watching this video guys if at all you need my consultations the link is mentioned in the description section once I get an order I'll be able to help you with the complete analysis pertaining to your individual birth chart all right so this is just a general prediction based upon the wealth uh, prospects astrology so do check other videos in my youtube channel there are a lot of videos which i made on wealth astrology my objective is to help you with the knowledge of vedic astrology and if at all you are watching this video for the first time please do subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon it's a subscribe button so that i'll be 
so that you will be notified on the future videos. All right. So stay tuned with all the videos in my YouTube channel, and I'm sure you'll be loving these videos. And thank you so much for always being supportive and understanding in terms of watching my videos and giving me and you people are showering a lot of love in terms of providing the amazing comments under my videos. So please keep the love going and thank you so much and stay tuned. Bye for now.